Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch Digital One video. And today, we're back in X Plane. We checked out the 737 Max yesterday, and today we're gonna check out a uh, very special version of the Cirrus Jet that I made. And this one has a rocket engine. Now, I've already put rocket engines on a few other planes before in videos. Um, for example, I did that with the 737. And yeah, a lot of people have requested me to actually also do that to small planes, which is what I'm going to do today. For example, we have the Cirrus jet here, which obviously is normally a jet that does not have rocket engines, but, you know, normal turbo fan engines. Uh, did I say engines? I mean engine. This is a single engine plane, obviously. And today I'm going to replace this thick, it's not really thick, <laughs> this uh, not thick engine with a very thick rocket engine. Now, actually, the plane that I'm spawned in right now, this one, this exact one, already has this modification. Yes, now literally all I did was I went into to plane maker which is where you make x-plane planes and modify the cirrus jet so that x-plane thinks that it's an actual rocket engine now another modification that i did to this plane or had to do was get bigger fuel tanks in here because running a rocket engine requires a lot of fuel and the basic fuel tanks that were built into the plane were uh, just really not enough to power the rocket engine for more than like a second or so so yeah this is not very realistic in real life you cannot store that much fuel in such a small plane to actually power a rocket engine, but um, you know, this is gonna be a little fun video, I guess. Now, I've put a lot, a lot of power into that uh, rocket engine. I don't quite know if it's going to be more powerful than an actual rocket, like a real rocket that is supposed to, well, fly to space. Let's just close the door here. That works nice. And fill this plane up with fuel. So here we go. Wait and balance menu. Uh, we're gonna have to use a lot of fuel. But we don't want to kill this aircraft either. Let's go for this amount of fuel. And you can see we have a flight time uh, calculator, which shows us how long of a flight time our amount of fuel is giving us. This is not even giving us a second of flight time. That's how crazy this is. You know, I would like to add a camera that shows my throttle lever so that you can actually see how much thrust I'm applying. But let's go... Re oh, did you see that? It didn't even do anything. Now, actually, the engine is running right now. You cannot hear it because it's a rocket engine. You cannot really hear it when it's an idle. Let's apply, like, really little amounts of thrust again. Three, two, one. That was not a lot. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> let's not kill the aircraft. Okay, let's just casually take off. Oh, no, 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 no. That was way too much already. Jesus Christ. Just a little, little bit. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. This is extremely powerful. Literally, I've not even pushed this thrust lever one centimeter forward. This is how crazy powerful this engine is. Oh, oh, oh my God. Did you just see that? Okay, let's give this a little boost, shall we? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have already run out of fuel, as you can uh, tell, I guess. Let me just uh, refuel this plane. Let's just, you know, fill this aircraft up with a lot of fuel. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was full power, and uh, I was not good, was it? Now, in real life, the plane would have probably already uh, separated into 100,000 pieces. Oh my goodness. Now we can actually hear sound as well. Oh, all right. Let's just uh, take off casually. Casual. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have to be really careful with this plane. Let me see that here. Wait, is that the uh, fuel flow? Okay, look at the fuel flow uh, indicator. Look at that. Oof. Oh my god, it's going crazy. Okay, let's just casually. Oh, oh, oh wow. That is a really big cloud as well. We have to be really careful on those controls. Now, Elon most probably owns a few thousand aircraft. You'd probably do that modification if you also had a Cirrus jet. I mean, the Cirrus jet is only for rich people anyway, so he can most probably buy one. Okay, let's go. Let's see um, how this plane works in higher altitudes. We're now at, um, oh, pretty much space. But the good thing about rocket engine is, oh, and we have completely gone dead mode. Now, the good thing about a rocket engine is that obviously you can uh, run it in space, which I hope you can right here. And maybe this is not too good aerodynamically. Maybe we should go for uh, higher altitudes. Oh, oh, this is bugging out a bit. Oh, that's a lot to handle. I know, I know. Okay, there we go. We are uh, in space entirely. Oh, we're actually... Yeah, I'm suffocating or something. We have no control over the aircraft, actually. Oh, yep, this is already doing it. Oh, yeah, maybe putting rocket engines onto a plane is not the best idea. I mean, we're pretty fast. 2,000 knots, that's not, that's not bad, is it? Meanwhile, in the cockpit, we have completely blacked out and uh, most probably died. Well, let's go a little bit easier on the thrust here. 
Oh, that's already enough. God damn it. Now let's actually activate the option that, for example, wings can fall off. You can die more easily. Make this short. Oh my god, this thing is going crazy. Oh, we have just taken off. The plane is actually still alive. That's pretty good. Now this rocket engine is barely making any sound as we are barely even pushing any thrust, but that already did it. We went too fast for the aircraft. Oh my goodness, our head is now... That is not too good, is it? Oh, that already did it. Okay, parachute time. Now, yeah, I can already see this is uh, not quite physically accurate. <laughs> I mean, it is physically accurate, but I just went crazy on the numbers. I mean, obviously in Plane Maker, which I modified this plane in, you can set the power of the engines. And uh, I really just made this engine ludicrous. Okay, time to take off. Now this thing is going, oh, a bit too fast. Oh, that already did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Spinning a little. Oh. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, also, I have modified the Concorde to have rocket engines. Is that a good idea? Probably not. All uh, right, here's the Concorde. I'm not quite confident about this working. I mean, it's, it's a Concorde. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, this plane is very uh, down to earth. Maybe a little too much. Now let's remove some weight. Okay, here we are. Uh, the Concorde with rocket engines. Uh, I mean, it, it could work. Oh, yes, it does work. Let's go. Oh, uh, this is a lot louder than the small vision jet. You know, this plane is designed to be quick. So let's, oh, go quick. Faster, 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 faster. Oh no, not that fast. Plane crashed. How fast can we go though? Yeah, this is FPS chaos. Let's turn the option off that we can crash when we go to fast. Let's actually go as fast as we uh, somehow can. Let's go little buddy, let's go. Ooh! Oh no. Okay, more, more fuel, more fuel. We have run out, more fuel, there we go. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, that's a fireball right here. Oh, Jesus. This thing is quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're on another island. Okay, we have run out of fuel again. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is absolutely hilarious. Very good. And boom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is doing some weird stuff now. Oh, uh, when we go to cockpit view, we see red and more red. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, how high are we now? Okay, so we are, um, oh, no, 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 no. We are at 2,300 knots at 40,000 feet. Okay, let's uh, stabilize the flight again and keep on. Yeah, this plane is definitely able to block out the entire sun from Earth. Okay, meanwhile, it's uh, somewhere here. It's uh, just normally flying. Yo, perfectly fine. Um, why are there so many balloons over the water? I mean, isn't that very, uh, oh, isn't that very close? Okay, whatever. Meanwhile, we have the Concorde that is uh, casually doing a flight. That was casually doing a flight. That was perfect. What is to learn from this? <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a hard one. Oh, flip. Oh, not even a flip. So yeah, maybe we can conclude that we should stick with afterburners. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. And dead. Extremely dead. Yeah. I mean, this plane is still kind of flying, but that's what we have the parachute for. Let's uh, deploy that one. And we're perfectly safe, aren't we? Now we're going to die anyway.